Here is part two. Before we even start, we're playing in the second measure. Our entrance happens in the second measure of this piece. So I would be counting off one, two, three, four. Then to myself, I'd be counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and. One, two, three, four. Just a reminder, this piece is in the key of G, and we're always playing F sharps unless we have a natural sign to tell us not to play an F sharp. Um, the first time we come to an F sharp, um, in the last measure of the first line, C, D, E, F sharp. We have F sharps all the way through this second part. One of the most important parts here, and you should remind yourself there's an F sharp, is in the second measure of the fourth line. We have the two notes G and B, and we have F sharp and C. Not F and C, F sharp and C. It's actually the top part of a D7 chord. Again, the rhythms are reflective of what we played in the first part in the first measure of the second line. One and two and three and four and one and two, three. Even the first note that we play in this piece starts on the and of three. And I would start with that with an upstroke. One, two, three and four and one. And again we have that rhythm of one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one. Make sure the G is always ringing. Now it's your time to practice the second part. <laughs> 